Hello, 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 and welcome to March Magnificence. And for the month of March, we're talking about the attributes of God. And the next attribute is God is a jealous God. Now, some people say, what God got to be jealous about us for? He has the whole world. And it, what's the little song? He got the whole world in his hand. Matter of fact, he created that whole world that's in his hand. Um, but let's go to the scripture. It says in Exodus 34, 14, For we shall worship no other God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. And Nahum, the first verses first chapter and second verse says god is jealous and this and the lord avenges the lord avenges and is furious the lord will take vengeance out on his adversaries why is god jealous he doesn't want us giving to somebody else or something else what belongs to him all praise worship glory and honor goes unto our Father, which art in heaven. Not to some wooden idol or some rock or, you know, when Moses, after God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt, get across the Red Sea onto the other side, Moses goes up into the mountain. What do they do? They build a golden calf. They threw all that jewelry and earrings and all that stuff into the fire, melted it up, and made something to worship. We don't need to do all that. You know, I know some people have little spaces in their house with candles and um, all these little things, you know, that they go and they worship God in this place. You can worship, praise God, you can glorify His name, you can thank Him. I don't care where you at. If you're standing on top of a building, swimming in the ocean, walking down the street, doing your daily chores, working, washing clothes, typing on a computer. I mean, you don't have to resurrect anything to worship God and to praise Him and to glorify Him. But when we start loving something more than we love God, that's when the problem comes in. And it don't necessarily have to be things. It can be people. You know, I hear a lot of people say, oh, they act like their pastor is God. You know, we can give our pastors and we should give them respect. We should pray for them and we, sh we can, you know, um, you know, respect them. Did I say that already? I didn't mean to. If I did, hopefully I didn't. But. We can honor them, you know, in our little way, but we cannot give them more than what we give to God. We can't, you know, you can bless them, you know, but we can't bless them more than we bless God. But most importantly, we need to honor them because being a pastor or preaching, it's a hard job. I've had the opportunity to be, to stand in as a pastor for a couple of years. And it's a tough job. It's a whole lot of many different layers. And, hey, one place I got paid a hundred dollars a week, you know, and it's not about the money; it's about the love of people, and they should be paid. I, I really do believe that they should be paid because you call late in the midnight hour with the expectation that they're gonna get up out of their comfy bed and come to your aid, you know. So I think that a workman is worthy. Oh, that's the word. The workman is worthy of his hire. Um. But, nevertheless, he is a jealous God. I know you be jealous, somebody hitting on your spouse or your significant other. Why you, and he loving the, the adoration, or she loving his adoration. Um, might get a little jealous too. So we can understand that jealousy thing. But God's jealousy is that he doesn't want us to give more to something else that rightly belongs to him. Hey, make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more by letting your voices be heard and your actions be seen. I will see you all on tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You all have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.